Why do you eat people? Would you like to eat me? Oh, why not? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this Harley Quinn inspired makeup look. I am obsessed with the movie and I knew I wanted to do Harley Quinn for about two months now. So I've been gathering the pieces of the outfit and today's finally the day. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. To start off today's look, I'm using a blurring primer to smooth out my face. Next up, I'm picking up the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the number 140. For this look, you want to use a foundation shade a couple shades lighter. That way, your face looks super pale. For concealer, I'm using the medium number 30 concealer by ColourPop. This is actually a little bit darker than my foundation, but it's fine. I'm going to pick up a gray toned contour shade to contour my face and my nose a little bit. So I know she's like very pale, but I'm just gonna contour a little bit and then if I have to lighten it, I will. I'm gonna apply a little bit more concealer on the sides of my nose just to help blend the contour out, which probably will be super easy because it's not as dark as I would normally go. Normally, it's a very, very dark color, so I always apply the concealer to help it blend, but this should be easy. We're gonna use a super white setting powder underneath our eyes to set the concealer. So while my concealer is setting, I'm gonna do my brows. So now I'm just gonna wipe away the powder. Just spray a little bit of setting spray to soak in. It's moisture. So for shadows today, I'm using my custom palette that I created from Buxom. They have 40 different shades, which I got basically all of them. And I custom created my own palette. Doesn't this palette look like a unicorn? I love it. So obviously I'm only gonna be using the blues out of this palette, and I'm also gonna be using like a black shade, but I had a little fun creating this palette, so it ended up looking like this, but I'll just use this one as well, so I'll kinda talk you guys through it. So these shadows are primer infused, which means you don't need an eyeshadow primer to apply them. So that's perfect for me because I usually skip the primer anyway. These shadows are super pigmented, so I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush and I'm gonna start with this blue shade and I'm going to apply it, I think it's her left side is blue. Let me check. So we're gonna just start off with a little bit and I'm going to start applying that. Let me actually smooth out these little creases I got first. So I barely touched it and you guys can see how pigmented it already is. I want to keep it pretty light at first and then I will be building it. So we're going to focus it mostly on the outer half. And I wanted to do a look really similar to the movie. So we're going to make it look like smeared down the face. So we're just going to start dragging it down and make it look like it's smeared. I'm going to actually grab a smaller brush and I'm going to just add some smear marks. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of this darker shimmer blue as well. And I'm gonna focus that first on the outer B. And then I'm gonna drag that down as well. So next I'm gonna go in with this shade, it's called LBD. And I'm gonna go over this again to kind of darken it up here. And then I'm gonna go back with this brush and just kind of blend it all.
Picking up a little bit of the color Diamond Darling, I'm going to apply that under my brows. I'm also going to apply that my tear duct. And I'm going to drag a little bit onto the lid. I wasn't going to, but why not? So now that that's on the lid, we're just going to grab our blending brush and just kind of blend the lid in with the blue. And I'm going to grab a little bit more of LBD and go over. So I couldn't find my close-up lens, so apologies if it's not as close-up as normal. I like how that looks. So with a clean, fluffy brush, I'm just going to go over the edges just to make sure nothing looks too harsh. And for red, I was looking through my collection and it's so hard to find a red eyeshadow. So I had already picked out my lipstick for today's look, which is the Toxic Cherry Matte lipstick also by Buxom. So I'm going to show you guys how to use a lipstick as an eyeshadow because majority of you guys probably don't have a red eyeshadow, like bright red at least. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand like this. I'm going to take my concealer eyeshadow brush and I'm going to start applying it. Oh, let's crease this again. I'm going to start applying it right on the outer V. Cool, right? This is literally like the perfect red to do this look because it almost has like a little bit of a pink undertone, which hers kind of has that pinkish look. So first I'm going to apply it with this brush and then I'm going to go in with my blending brush. But I'm going to do kind of the same thing with the drips. And they don't need to be perfect because... She was kicking some ass and it just kind of naturally happened. So now we're gonna go in with a clean blending brush and we're just going to blend the edges out. And then to do the smaller ones, I'm going to use a smaller pencil brush to blend because I don't want to make them any thicker. I'm going to go back in with the Diamond Darling shade. My tear duct. And these shadows are super pigmented. I'm like barely touching it. We're going to just drag this into the inner half of my eyelid and just kind of slowly blend that into the red. I'm going to take a little bit of Little Black Dress or LBD again and I'm just going to do a tiny bit in the red just to add a little bit of dimension. So next we're going to go in with a black eyeliner. And I'm going to take like a regular eyeliner, I'm going to line my lower lash line and I'm also going to smudge it um, like down on my lower lash line and then I'm going to use the shadow just to give it like a more grunge type of look. Just 
Jeez. Say hello, my boo boo. Mm, hi. I just like re looked at the picture front. I feel like I should use white eyeliner in and then the black on the bottom. So I'm just gonna wipe it off my inner. For lashes, I'm using the WSP lashes. For mascara, I'm using my favorite mascara, which I'm actually almost out of. It's the Buxom Lash Mascara. So I bought these tattoos from Hot Topic. They are the Harley Quinn tattoos, obviously. So you guys can draw on the heart and the rotten on your face if you want. But I'm gonna just use the tattoos because I have them. Oh, the rotten is big. Maybe I won't use it because it's too big. So I am going to draw them on with some liquid eyeliner. So first we're gonna do the heart. It would help if this was working. Tell me how the one picture I was looking at, it was on the blue side, and now the other ones I'm looking at is on the red side. Ah! I guess we'll just leave it. Oh well. Close enough. Now we're going to do a little bottom mascara, and by a little I mean a lot. I'm going to take the Diamond Darling and I'm going to highlight my nose, just a little bit because I contoured. For lips, I'm using also by Buxom the Plump Line Lip Liner in the color Code Red. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Buxom Bold Gel Lipstick in Toxic Cherry. These lipsticks are super pigmented and they come in both matte and satin finish. I'm using the matte one today and it's like the perfect red for this look. I love how creamy it feels. Sometimes matte lipsticks can be a little bit drying, so I've been preferring actual matte lipsticks over the liquid lipstick as of lately. So I'm gonna go put on the wig, get dressed, and then finish up the makeup look. I don't know how much more I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna put on the wig and then kind of see how I feel. So, be right back. I feel like this wig might be glued on for a long time. I used like this new wig glue. Can't even get it off my head. So I'm gonna put on the accessories. I'll link where I got everything from. I have this little guy. I'm gonna make it a little bit more grungy. I'm gonna grab the color Hot or Yacht by Buxom. It's like a grayer tone and I'm just gonna go under my eyes to add like a little bit of shadow. I feel like it looks too neat. And I'm gonna do the smear look. This lip liner actually comes with like a little um, brush on the bottom, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the lipstick. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this color just to make it look a little dirty. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're going out for Halloween this weekend, make sure to be safe. 
Don't eat too much candy. And until next time, I will see you guys later.